Welcome to the 3D Print Entrepreneur Podcast hosted by Print That Thing, where we help you become a 3D print designer. I'm your host, Jaywall, and today's episode, we're going to be talking to Pierre from Colts 3D. So for those of you who don't know what Colts 3D is, it's a digital marketplace for 3D print designers to upload their files with the option to give them away for free or to sell them for a price. Pierre is one of the co-founders of Colts 3D, and we had a great chat about how two advertising strategy planners identified a trend in the 3D print space to provide an incredible platform. We chatted about cash flow between customers and designers, posting trends that work, and intellectual property in the 3D print space. Before we dive into the interview, let's get a quick word from our sponsors. This episode is brought to you by Print That Thing, an educational platform that helps you become a 3D print designer within 30 days. We provide easy to digest lessons that compound so you can learn fast. Sure, you can learn 3D print design on YouTube, but we teach a unique and flexible workflow not found anywhere else. You'll learn by doing while creating 10 unique designs, giving you a strong foundation to get you 3D printing your own ideas. If you wanna unleash your superpower of 3D print design, become a member at ptt.live for designs, courses and community hey welcome back everybody today we are with one or yeah one of the founders or co-founders of colts 3d i know y'all have heard about it uh it's a download site if you've never heard about it uh so yeah today we have pierre welcome pierre hey 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 so, you guys. yes thanks for joining us today i just wanted to ask kind of how did this whole idea come about because you guys were pretty early with the download sites uh yeah. or what kind of uh, what time yeah. period it, to, to be perfectly honest, we are not um, uh, we were not savvy about 3D printing when we launched Cults. Uh, Hugo and I were working in an advertising agency uh, back in the day. It was seven years ago now. Uh, we were a strategic planner. Our job was mostly to identify trending topics and to ask to ask an advertiser if they want to work on it or not. Mm -hmm. And we find this idea for us. Uh, we wanted to create something together and we wanted to be our own bosses. So <laughs> we launched and we we didn't even see any 3D printers before. We just Oh knew, wow. Yeah. We just barely knew how to to build a website. Uh, and yeah, that was it. So you just had a great idea. That's cool. Oh, yeah. yeah. I I noticed I remember when you guys came, because I think you were the one who messaged me, didn't you say? Like on yeah. off the thing yeah. of ours to come like, hey, come try out this our website. And so I think thank it, you. Was, it was six six years ago. <laughs> That's great. And now here we are, full circle, <laughs> meeting up to chat. But I remember <laughs> all like all like Thingiverse and all this, they were all like free sites and stuff. Cause I came from an entrepreneur kind of background. And I noticed that you guys came out the gate pretty much with, I think you did, uh, with charging for files. Like people could put a price on their yeah. files if they wanted, right? In, in fact, it was the, the idea at the early beginning. Uh, there was only Thingiverse, not even Pinshape at the time, not mm -hmm. even My Mini Factory. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we were really the first to do it. Um, everybody was saying, uh, come on, guys, uh, 3D printing, it's just open source, just for free files. Uh -huh. and. Uh, it, it was okay, in fact, because we, we let designers share free files if they, if they prefer, it's okay. But we were, uh, at, since the beginning of the website, for sure, it, it, we need to help designers to sell models because you can see how long it is, how many time you have to spend in front of the computer to, to model a, a design that is printable um, with no overhangs, printing right, play. Right. <laughs> yeah, flexible now. Uh, <laughs> right. It, 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 you, you need you need you need at least five or six bucks because it's it's really amazing designs. So yeah, we we were convinced of it. It was hard at the beginning, but now yeah, it's okay. I think uh, people are okay to pay um, a few bucks for for the designers. I think so too. That's great, and I fully encourage that. When I first started, I was like, oh, it should all be free. But now that I've been doing it a lot, and I know a lot of designers mm -hmm. that are listening to this are like, they probably uh, I've been talking to them too. They they've been giving away files and files and files, you know, hoping that eventually maybe one day they'll be able to, to do this uh, full time. But I think, uh, I think the, 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 good, the, good part, the good part is uh, on the designer side, but also on the customer side, because the designers always wanted to get uh, some, some money to buy some spools or, or new some, printer. Yeah. But uh, we are pretty happy because now the, the customers say, oh, okay, cool. I, I can give some, some money to these designers because they, they work hard on these models and they deserve it. So yes. for us, it, it's even better because desi designers say, okay, but customers too. 
Right, right. So would you say percentage wise, like the people on your site, is it like a 50 50 of like people who charge for their designs? Or is it mostly free still? Like, do you oh. see any kind of pattern? Mostly free. Yeah, mostly, mostly free still. Free. Yeah. Uh, I think last time someone asked me, it was uh, something like 10% uh, paid models, maybe it's a bit more now. So right. I would say percent, but not sure, not sure of the, of the number. Right, right. That's cool. Well, I'm glad y'all are doing that. And I've heard mm -hmm. some people talking because one of my buddies was like trying to decide, you know, where should I, I want to start selling my designs? Where should I start going? And they pretty much all were saying go to Colts 3D just because yeah. you don't have to pay a fee to do yeah. it. But you guys do take a small transaction of, of it, right? Yes, indeed. Uh, in fact, since the beginning, the, um, we wanted to take the the minimum, minimum, minimum. Mm -hmm. uh, to be honest, for example, for small amounts, uh, mm -hmm. we lose money on each sale. So under two euros, it's, it, it costs us money. So yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. least we can do. Uh, we always wanted to be 20% or less. We have 20% since the beginning. So at one time, we wanted to delete the percentage, but uh, it's really important for us to keep it because we have to pay a bandwidth we have to yeah pay all the business and, side yeah a lot of people don't think about the business yeah. side they're like everything should be free but it's like it takes money to run businesses yeah. <laughs> online or we really do not want to know how much we give to amazon s3 every month you really don't want to know right right so and then i noticed that y'all i feel like in the beginning y'all didn't have ads or did you have ads in the beginning too no not at all. okay that's uh, what i thought fact, yeah. we were yeah, yeah, we were not. We were against ads, ads at the beginning. We didn't right, right. want to add, add, even if we work in an advertising agency. We, we, like I think most of the people, we prefer internet without ads. But, right. Uh, yeah. Like <laughs> most of the people that have the website, we, we right. have to add ads, and it's the only way to keep a small percentage. Yeah. Keep and keep the lights going. Keep everything flowing. Yeah. Definitely. Indeed. So, what like do you guys ever have? Because like. Like if you go to other websites, there's a lot or download sites, there's like Spider-Man and Iron Man and Baby Yodas and stuff. Like, do you guys ever feel like pressure from the, the big corporations or big industries? Like do you all get letters and stuff or is it like, are you worried about that type of thing moving in the future? In fact, it, it's um, it's something we was very worried about at the yeah. early beginning when we launched because big companies were a bit stressed. Now, I think... Um, there, there is an acceptation. Big companies say, okay, uh, sometimes we receive a DMCA, right. you have to do uh, these models, these models with a very long list. Mm -hmm. We delete mm -hmm. the models, we let the design, designers know that the models are, not, are no longer online. And in fact, the companies are okay with that. Um, okay. Yeah, we, we behave like we would like uh, mm -hmm. someone behave if we ask us we are quick to reply and we let um that is less pressure right right less pressure definitely where do you think like it's going like where do you think uh kind of the future of designs or just the future of 3d printing i guess in your mind where do you hope see it in a few years or five years let's say um it's hard to say i think um yeah, it's it's really hard to say yeah. because like, here is a long time for three D printing. I mean, ten years ago, it did not even exist. So I I would say on on my side, for cults about the designs, uh, I think we are going to have more and more designs that are functional. Uh, yeah. I mean, functional. Like, uh, yeah, that that can move. That, yes. That really look like real toys or real cars or maybe real um, furniture, like a yeah. chair, a stool. Um, yeah. Yeah, we I would want, love want to have this kind of thing, right? Definitely. I love whenever I think whenever y'all first started, y'all were the only ones that had the naughties section. It was like the 18 and older. Yeah. I was like, oh, that's awesome. That's cool. It's kind of like if you're uh, if the adults uh, can go to cults. Yeah. <laughs> Next one. Uh, <laughs> since we had advertising, we had to block this section this section. So you have to sign in now. Right, uh, right. Yeah, we want to keep it because uh because because people like it and yeah, yeah it's many downloads. Yeah, we we have we have to <laughs> we have we have to keep it. <laughs> so, do you have like a favorite designer on the site besides me? Of course, no, I'm kidding. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, do you, you like? Okay. Is there someone that you're just like, wow, like everything they make is just great? Or mm. uh, I know y'all highlight some designers, or are there certain things you guys yeah. are looking for when you when you're looking through designs. Mm, I would say each week, each week we feature a designer, and each week it's my favorite designer because. Um, 
It, it's hard to pick one. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry for this very classic. No, no. Well, what would you say is most popular? Because I know it's like on other sites, it seems like miniatures are like taking over. Like, do y'all feel that yeah. same thing there? Or is there something on your site that's very, very popular more than anything else? Yeah. Um, we, we can see that um, small prices, like around two or three bucks, are, are best sellers. Uh, yeah. you, had, you had a gift that explained the, the model, it works pretty well. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, it's if it's print in place and uh, articulated, yeah, it, it's it's okay because uh, people that use three D printing do love to just you take the model from the plate and say, oh, that's what good. I that's what yeah. I've been doing. That's literally what I've been working on all week is a a print oh. a print in place. It's kind of hard to okay. see. It's a, a print in place for batteries, but it prints oh, like this. <laughs> awesome! And then you go. Yeah, and it'll go bloop, and it'll open up, but it's for your AA batteries. <laughs> so I'm testing that <laughs> print in place. Yeah, I, now, I've even gotten paid a lot, <laughs> and I've told all a lot of my students because we're training students, you know, to learn 3D. I mean, we're just building badass yeah. 3D print designers. That's our our mission, and so I've been sending a lot of them your way and just telling them like, guys, charge even a dollar, like just put a dollar on your file you know, just something and you'll be surprised. And kid you not, like one of the, one of our students came back like the next few days and was like, I made my first sale on Colts. Like it, it happened. <laughs> and he was just like, so excited. And I mean, oh, I get, I get emails all the time from you guys. Like, Hey, you sold a design. Hey, you sold. And I'm like, woo, woo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> it's okay. It's cool. I'm yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what advice would you have for anyone who wants to make this may be a, tr a hard question, but is there any tips or advice or anything you, or patterns you've seen for anyone who wants to make 3D print design their full-time career? I, I can send you a link. It's it's um it's like a blog post we 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 made uh, mm -hmm. with 10, 10 ideas that that could help you sell more. Ooh, uh, yes, like yes, said, yes. Uh, I'll put I, that in the description yes. too of the podcast. Yes, thank you. Yes, okay, cool. please send I, that. I, I send you. Uh, it, it's pretty, it's pretty basic, but um, ten rules that are really basic. Um, add, add, a, add a nice photo of the print. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe a print that is useful is even better. Yes. Uh, yeah. Add a gif. Uh, we we accept gif, uh, animated gif. Uh, oh, cool! Oh my gosh, I love that. I think that would yeah. help really attract eyeballs. Yeah, and you you can you can tell on the home page if you have a look at the bestsellers, most of them are, have gifts. So yeah, it, it's it's a good move to add gift because uh, in one look, in two seconds, you can understand uh, what you can do with the print. Right, so it's a plush. Uh, and I might I might say that um, if you do not have any social media presence before uh, uploading on cuts, it's a bit harder because uh, it, it's good to be well known or at least to be known a little bit in the community and. Maybe uh, offer one or two or three cool models, and then you say, "Hey guys, by the way, my first selling models." And you might have some sales because people want to help you out and want, yes. want to. Yeah, so they really do. Yeah, they really do. Give good advice. Then obviously have a look at the communities. Like uh, groups on Facebook are, are great. Mm -hmm. uh, Reddit communities, 3D printing communities, awesome. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I think it's important, uh, both mm -hmm. because you learn a lot. But also because you'll be able to promote your your content on these communities, right? Definitely, that's great advice. Um, and then I know that uh, you guys are doing contests from time to time, so that y'all yeah. do. I saw that on the uh, site. Um, I guess, um, yeah. Let's play a game. I got a game for you. Okay, so this <laughs> is uh, just a word association. I'm just gonna throw off some 3D okay. print terms, and then you can pick one of them or you can pass. So PLA. Or, or do you, or first off, do you do, do you actually 3D print too? Or are you more on the business side of things? Um, I'm more on the business side, but I, okay. I used to have a 3D printer. Okay. It was a, a replica of the MakerBot, a replicator. Oh, I had that one too. I had that one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, if any of these don't apply to you, just pass. Um, okay. PLA or TPU? PLA. Okay. FDM. I love this map. <laughs> yeah. F, oh, uh, sorry. FDM. Oh, no, you're fine. FDM or SLA? Uh, FDM. Okay, 3D scan or 3D model? 3D model. Supports or no supports? No supports. Yeah. Uh, STL or OBJ? Uh, STL. Uh, precision modeling or sculpting? Precision. Yeah. 
Um, Prusa slicer or Kira slicer? I don't know if you're slicing things much. Yeah. Kira. Okay. Yeah. That's like the most obvious things. Um, oh, this one's hard. My mini factory or Colts 3D? Ah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, practical design or decorative designs? Oh, practical. Yeah. Awesome. Digital download or print on demand? Digital download. Uh, uh, sell a product or take on a client? Uh, sell a product. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> me too. Uh, well, cool. Well, that's all the uh, questions I had. I just kind of wanted to talk to you more and more and just give some advice for people who want to start selling their designs on a great platform. So check them out. If you're not a member, go ahead and make sure you set, sign up and get your account and start selling some designs, people. What are y'all doing? Thank y'all so much for listening with us today. And again, thanks to Pierre for chatting with me. If you haven't already checked out Colts3D.com, definitely go do it. It's one of the best digital marketplaces in the 3D print design space. Be sure to tune in next week. We'll be talking to Nicholas from polymaker.com where we talk about environmentally friendly materials and the responsibility of the industry to be more conscious of the plastic within the industry. While waiting for the next episode, remember you can go get yourself a Print That Thing membership at ptt.live so you can start 3D printing your own ideas. I'm Jay Wall. As always, keep creating.